Hi, this is Joe at Average Joe's RV Living. So exactly a week ago, Maggie and I sold our condo, yay, for a good price. And so for the last week, we've been m madly busy trying to get rid of all our possessions so that we can move into our fifth wheel as soon as possible. Well, not all of our possessions. We're keeping some things, like yeah. our dogs. Our dogs and uh, some of our stuff that will fit in the RV, right? Right. Yeah. So I'm going to cut you and just show you a, a little bit of video about what our place looked like two weeks ago before we started this downsizing and selling all of our stuff. It was lovely. <laughs> it was lovely, yes. Now it's like living, I don't know, some kind of uh, furniture store that exploded or a camping store that exploded. exploded. Anyway, I'm just going to stop here and cut in that video to show you. Uh, so that's our entrance hall. That's our Maggie. This is our dining area. Here we've made a teeny tiny office that fits both of us. Zoom around. Billy seldom leaves that spot. He is besotted with Maggie. But he also loves every other human being who walks the planet. So. Absolutely. We have a little... Okay, so I'm back. So this is the new look. So basically my favorite recliner is gone to be replaced by the unfavorite recliner. <laughs> Only temporarily. <laughs> Only temporarily. Then this one will be gone too as soon as someone buys it off Craigslist. Everything's on Craigslist so every day something disappears. Um, so our lovely white couch is gone. So now we have our little camping chairs that we're sitting on. Um, ever so comfortable. Ever so comfortable. <laughs> it's only three weeks, honey. And um, uh, Maggie's working on the to-do list, which we change every day as we have new ideas or we get stuff done. Dining room suite is gone. Oh, yeah. This was our dining room suite. It's now a bunch of boxes. You would have seen that in the, the before video. So, yeah, no dining area anymore. And uh, that's, a, that's a, the big box is going to the oldest child. Um, the computer desk is still here, but not for long. Uh, this is what would... Maggie has been getting these things ready for the new kitchen. These plastic bins will go into the RV. We'll, we'll use them to get stuff to the RV, and then they'll be used for storage underneath. She's labeling everything with her label maker so we can find stuff. So those are foodstuffs and those are other stuffs related to kitchens. I have put all of our DVDs and, and CDs into these big um, uh, storage nylon things that I got from Amazon. Basically 400 DVDs in one of the packages and then um, that's in this one. Uh, this thing holds 400 DVDs alphabetically sorted. And this thing holds most of our music CDs, and this is all for when we're offline, boondocking, and don't have internet access. Then we've got, of course we've done, I don't know, maybe 50 runs to Goodwill to donate stuff. This will be the next run. Pictures that nobody wants, old toys, kitchen stuff, clothes. Uh, I'm giving picture frames to my mom, and hope she'll want them. Big bedroom mirror goes to Goodwill. We've got, yeah, toys that we keep here for the grandkids. We'll either go to their houses or Goodwill if they don't want them. The dogs are not happy. The dogs never are when there's change. They're quite disturbed. So we've bought them new uh, things to live in, homes, little uh, furry things which they are absolutely ignoring. They don't seem to like them. Huh? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, but they're big crates that they usually sleep in will not fit in the RV. So um, we're just leaving them there and hoping that they will embrace them eventually. Um, we've bought these coral dishware, this coral dishware, which is supposed to be very hard to break and very light. That's going directly to the RV. We've got rid of most of our existing dishes. So this cupboard is half empty. It used to be very full. All of this stuff will go a couple of days before we leave. Uh, the old spice cupboard now looks like that. Maggie's cleaned it out completely. All of that. And she's put it into 
this little device that we bought I'll put links below but it fits big and small spices and they come all the way out it's plastic and lightweight and we will use that for our cooking on the RV because we like to cook with spices and do recipes and stuff so oh, okay still a bit of food left in that cupboard but most of the cupboards are like wonderfully empty so we're getting there incredible how much stuff you collect over decades of living in a home still working on that getting rid of everything and yeah yeah it's just we we're actually really tidy people it's kind of odd to be living like this but we have no choice dogs seem to be cheering up we took them to see the RV and they played in it we think they like it I'll just show you our, what's happened to our bedroom yeah this is more stuff to go to grandkids and stuff to process after we move out that I don't have time to deal with now like all these photographs I have to scan so that we can keep records of them without keeping photographs yeah <laughs> so we still have the Sony TV in the bedroom and I'm planning to have that installed in the bedroom of the RV but our because I love that little TV it's a great picture but our, 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 sh our cable box and our Apple TV are now standing on top of some board games which are resting on top of a dog crate so yeah <laughs> it's interesting and yeah we have a plastic storage container that fits under a bed and into this we're putting little bits and pieces that we can't stand to lose that we need to keep um, but we don't want to take in the RV so which my mother will very kindly store under a bed in their place so yeah that's it this is the chaos at this point uh, three weeks from now there should be a completely empty space except for the things that we're moving out to various places right we're gonna get there and the art is going yeah. what we've done with some of the art that we really love is asking friends to to, to hang it and love it for us while we we're away and then if we ever ever set in a conventional home again we can get it back and if we don't then somebody else can love it hmm. huge tv can't go in the condo so i mean in the rv so i'm going to give it to my mom and her partner her husband and everywhere you look things are being organized and sorted out i'm moving all of my electronic gadgets into one camera bag all labeled <laughs> didn't label that one okay, but most of it labeled <laughs> Some of it still needs labeling, just so I can find my stuff when I want to do photography or video or whatever, um, work with my computers. So that's it. Um, the next video, I hope I will show you a video of us in a much better state. Oh, and we have walls to fix, and it just goes on and on and on. It's, we're working, I would say, 12 hours a day and then collapsing in a heap on our camp chairs. Yay.